Hey team, this is Craig at Let's Start Talking, and this is a brief tutorial on using the worksheet for tracking funds during your uh, project. So you will receive an email from somebody at Let's Start Talking, and you'll come in and make a, an account with Smartsheet here. It's a free account, and once you do that, you'll use your credentials to log in. All you'll see is your team and then any documents that we've loaded up for you. What you're seeing here is an administrative view, but uh, I'll go ahead and open up the budget template that uh, you'll get. It'll look just like this, except for the budget will match your team and your project. So if you've used Excel before, you can see this looks very much like Excel and it acts like Excel. This worksheet that you're using uh, just has a few basic parts. At the beginning, it has the uh, budget part, and that will be adjusted automatically for you as you enter expenses below. So you've got your budget right here in this part of the worksheet. And then as you enter expenses, they'll be totaled here. And then remaining budget will be totaled over here for you. So you don't need to do anything with this. In fact, it's probably locked, so you can't do anything with it. Just below that's a small office use only, uh, just a place where we're noting how many people are on your team and how many weeks you're out. And then when you get back, we'll note how much actual cash you returned to let's start talking. And then I'll come back to this yellow section in just a moment. What you will do most often is enter transactions starting in this section and you'll, you'll enter them just row by row by row. And all you have to do is come in here using a keyboard just uh, enter the date you can make a small note about it say we exchanged some money when we first got here so I'm just going to tab over to the area I need to use which is exchange let's say I exchanged a couple hundred dollars and I got 230 local back so on any date you can do any transaction you can do an expense, which is the green here. You can do exchange, either exchange US to local or exchange local to US. Usually that's done towards the end of the project or some income. So on any date, you could enter any of those transactions. So again, perhaps uh, we got some groceries. And this is an expense, so I'm going to pick the category here, food. It was not a U.S. expense. It was a local currency expense, so let's say we enter it there. And as we're entering things, then the budget is adjusted automatically. So we um, spent some money on food. This column is being reported in U.S. dollars, so it's converting everything back to U.S. dollars, and then it's telling us how much we've got left there. It also knows that we've got some local currency now and it reduced the US dollars because of that exchange. So on any day, you can come to this part of the worksheet and know, okay, if I get my US dollars out right now and count them up, I should have this much money. Same with local currency, you should have this much local currency if you got it out and counted right now. And so that's, uh, you've got expenses that you might enter, exchanges you might enter, um, when, you, when you're coming back, you're going to exchange money back into U.S. dollars. And you note it's not asking you for the rate or the fees or anything like that, just how much you gave them, how much they gave you back. Same with exchanging from U.S. to local, I mean local to U.S. How much did you give them? How much did they give you back? And if you do have a income, let's say we, we got that uh, perhaps towards the end of our project here, maybe... Um, it was a host contribution. So we're just going to tab over or move over to this part here on the row. Uh, it gives us some categories. Uh, this was a host church donation. And you can note whether it was US dollars or local. And that's all I've got to do. Okay, pretty simple. If you are accessing this with a mobile device, uh, make sure you've uh, looked for the app, the Smartsheet app. They've got apps for Android and Apple products. When you uh, access it on a smaller device, 
um, you'll probably still be able to see this view of it. You may need to tell it you want to look at the grid view and not the list view. But most likely what it will do is when you click here because you want to enter a new transaction, it's probably going to open up just a row for you and you'll see something like this where you're just entering. It's giving you the whole row to consider at once. But it's pretty easy. Again, we're just entering the date. Uh, if we want to make a note, we can. This I'm entering expense here. So let's say it was local travel and an amount, local currency. OK, and then I just hit OK. On some uh, devices, mobile devices, when it gives you this row, uh, you click on some uh, any cell and this will pop up. You may have to tell it somewhere here or somewhere up here that you want to edit the row, and then it will let you enter information there. So again, on a mobile device, I'm not saying you need to come over here, right click, and do edit row. I'm only saying that when you click on any cell on a, on a mobile device, either it will let you enter as we're doing right here, or it will give you uh, this row view of things. If it does, then you just enter the information that you want to enter. Okay, well, because this lives in the cloud, then you need internet access to enter data into it. It's not something you'll download and use. You'll just hop online, you'll enter your transactions, you'll double check your budget, and then you'll be done with it. Because it's in the cloud, we can access it at any time as well. And so if you have a question or a problem or somehow you feel like you've messed something up, the formulas, that's not a problem at all. We can access it and make it work too. So the best thing to do is before you go on your project, go ahead and play around with it. Just enter some data for fun and make sure you understand how it works. You can always just come back in here and uh, get rid of that data. It's not a problem at all. But it will help you a lot if you'll make sure you know how to use it before you go. Okay, well, don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks a bunch.